Yeah, good day. Z02 Charlie Tango Mike. Um, just finished up a very simple single sideband receiver here. Um, first part of what will be of my um, transceiver, which I'll start using for for the home rig here. Um, very simple one, just to sort of get things going, and then I'll look to enhance it as I fully characterise what's going on and and basically um, you know, just look to develop it. So simplistically, the heart of it's around a, an Arduino little mini with its uh, little OLED display. Again, just to get things going later on, I'll go to a full, full size uh, LCD. That's driving a 5351 DDS chip, two outputs, clock zero and clock two. Clock zero is the VFO, and clock two is the, the so again, clock zero is the VFO, and then clock two is the BFO. So we've got RF coming in through here, through a 40 meter band pass filter. Loops back around through into a broadcast band filter just to knock down the AM radio stations. Out of that goes into the SBL1. And as we said before, VFO is coming through, being mixed. Output is an IF, uh, currently 3.18 megahertz. Uh, why? Because um, I'm using here an old FT101 single sideband crystal filter. So that IF goes through a single stage IF amplifier. Build around a 3904, uh, running around 20 dB again. Um, bit of impedance matching here, up to the 500 ohms for the filter. Through the filter, uh, and, uh, drop back down again into exactly the same stage here. Okay, another 20 dB again. Output of that goes into the second SBL1. So this is the product detector. And as we said before, the BFO is coming through here, mixing, and the output is... Um, audio frequencies back through the audio amp amplified here and through the speaker as I said before um, this is very bare bones at the moment you know I don't have any uh, say 6 dB pad after the the first IF um, I don't have any audio frequency filtering after the product detector um, no diplexes sitting after mixes just to, to make sure that they're properly uh, matched to 50 ohms at the various frequencies but like I say just a very simple bare bones single sideband transceiver or again receiver uh, just to get things going uh, once I've sort of got this enhanced I'll look to have over here a microphone amplifier um, yeah, very noisy today unfortunately uh, here um, the microphone amplifier will sit here uh, back through this mixer bring it back up through the filter um, I'll have here and here um, Amplifiers, so pretty, I'll pretty, pretty just muck around with the same stage again, mirrored here, mirrored here, with individual switching relays, just to switch which way um, the RF's going through the filter. Um, back through this mixer, and then um, into the power amp, and I'll mount the power amp here. Just debating which way I'm going to run with that one, uh, probably... I probably run with the 5 watts QRP mode and maybe up to 20 watts. Um, I've got an old um, Codan 7727 uh, amplifier block, which I suppose has got up to 100 watts, which I may look to play around with, but at this stage of the game, it's, it's all about homebrew, so uh, I think I'll look to make it all myself. But um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty good for a little uh, homemade little single sideband receiver. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll look to enhance it, fully characterize what its sensitivity is, dynamic range and the like, and uh, it's just a building block, you know, so the whole idea is to very simply swap out, for example, uh, these amplifier blocks, maybe go for a cascader J310 type arrangement, or, I don't know, some of the bi-directional amplifiers um, which are out there might be an idea, um, but like I say, it's just purely uh, a scratch pad or a a simple radio to develop and, and to play around. Anyway, I shall keep you posted. Yeah, like I said, I'll keep you posted, but um, we'll go from there. Yep, cheerio, 73, 02, Charlie, Tanger Mike.